asked Dan Schneider. On this Ask Dan Schneider, I will be addressing a question that I've been asked a number of times, and that is what my opinion of Roger Ebert is or was since he's now been dead for about two and a half years. Uh, well, this question has been asked probably a handful of times over the years. Um, uh, back in 2009, December of 2009, Roger Ebert had written an article about me and my website and my reviews that referenced some of his opinions. And this is where it has come uh, from. Uh, as I tape this now at the end of August 2015, uh, the website or the, the article that Ebert had written about me has garnered something like 3,800 replies, closing in on 4,000. And it, it, it waxes and wanes. It's sort of become a hub for Dan Schneider and Cosmo Etica fans and fans of my film criticism. Uh, as for Roger Ebert, uh, like many other people, I grew up watching him from about the age of 10 or 11 when sneak previews first came on. Uh, and I always preferred Gene Siskel. He seemed a bit more emotionally balanced, a bit more intellectually probing. Not that either man was a great film critic, but I did enjoy the banter between the two men. Ebert was always uh, more emotional. Uh, back in the 1960s, 70s through early 80s, the heyday of uh, uh, the new Hollywood, he gave out very few four-star reviews. In the last decade of his life or so, he gave out tons more, even though palpably the film uh, world was much worse. Um, as for Ebert as a man, I had you know a few email interactions with him after he had posted the article. Uh, the article was prompted by a guy who used to stalk me, uh, wanting to, uh, uh, well, he, he suddenly came around after years in a nut house or something and uh, wrote Roger about this. And I had contacted Ebert a couple of years earlier to see if I could interview him for my Dan Schneider interview series. But at the time he was, he had first had his operation where he lost his jaw and was suffering uh, from throat cancer or whatever it was that killed him. Um, so, I never heard back from him, which was the big surprise that he did this article on me about two and a half years later. Um, then he tried a few years later to do this uh, PBS show where he had uh, Christy Lemire and like Ignati Vishnevesky, this young Russian kid, uh, uh, a movie babe and a movie unknown, uh, try to recapture the Siskel and Ebert vibe, and it failed. It failed miserably. Um, uh, and I think, you know, Roger Ebert had made millions off of his show. He was a, a wealthy, wealthy man, probably the wealthiest film critic ever that at least made money from his film criticism. Uh, uh, as for, you know, I, I certainly appreciated uh, the article uh, a decade or so before. I know Ebert had plugged James Berardinelli, who I also interviewed on the Dan Schneider interview about film. Uh, and it's interesting, though, uh, Ebert was very scattershot with who he plugged, just as he was with films. I mean, I'm a great uh, film critic. James Berardinelli is a good, solid film critic, better than most of the people that publish online. And yet, I know I wasn't contacted about the show, and uh, I remember asking Berardinelli. He wasn't. And so it's interesting that, that the two people who were actually the best people that could have done something like that uh, were not contacted. Of course, I would not have done it. I'm not a full-time film critic. I'm not going to sit through a lot of garbage uh, movies just to get paid. But it's interesting. Um, you know, if you if you are going to uh, praise something, that's great. But if you're praising everything, it ruins the amount of praise. It, it brings it down. Um, uh, and that's about that's about it as far as my opinion of Roger Ebert. I was certainly sad to hear that he had died. It was a uh, it was a it was a sad thing. I mean, granted, he lived a, a fat life, P H A T life. Uh, you know, he traveled broadly. He made tons of money. He uh, eventually ended up with a family, although I don't think he had any biological children. Uh, he was well known. He was celebrated, uh, and you know, uh, that's a time that has passed, though. And so, uh, my overall opinion is that Roger Ebert was a good, solid critic. He was at his best a very good writer of prose. But that's about it. I think his influence will wane, and it has waned in just the last couple of years, 20, 30 years from now, it will be next to nothing. But uh, a good man uh, who epitomized a certain time that has gone by, and that's my opinion of Roger Ebert.